The campaigns have shifted into high gear and what better than to look at some of the key battleground states. So we're looking at Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. They're called the Blue Wall. Now, the reason they're called that is because for six consecutive presidential elections, going back to 1992 and up to 2016, the Democrats carried those three states each time. Uh, 2016, Donald Trump defeated Hillary Clinton because he carried those states. Then Joe Biden made it back into made it to the White House because he brought him back into the Democratic fold. So these are the areas, the states where are most competitive. Interestingly, the three states add up to 44 electoral votes, only surpassed by California as the as the big one. So our latest polls in Michigan, five point advantage for Kamala Harris. Wisconsin, a insignificant one point, and Pennsylvania, dead even. So we're talking about uh, three those three states, and let's say Harris carries all three. She can still lose two places she carried last time, Arizona and Georgia, and still win. If Donald Trump carries all three and holds everything from last time, he wins. But if he carries Pennsylvania and nothing else, not the other two states, then it's not enough. Now, this is all kind of like playing out in the colors, red and blue, uh, and you can glaze over it very easily. Bottom line, you'll want to win these three battleground states or you could asking for potential trouble. Okay, so when we look at the numbers, what are we seeing here? Well, in the polls, what's fascinating is that no one's getting much support in enemy territory. The Republicans are not getting, Donald Trump's not getting any Democrats significantly, and Kamala Harris is, is not getting any Republicans. I've never quite seen it this soon where the opposition numbers are pretty much cleaned out. Trump is running better than four years ago uh, uh, among independents, but Harris is offsetting that by doing better among suburban voters. So there's a little bit of a, of exchange there. And then we're looking at issues. Um, Harris is seen as more honest and trustworthy, having values that more match uh, people's uh, concerns. Um, Donald Trump still seen as a much stronger leader and also as someone who is identified more with change. He'll shake things up. Um, so lots of stuff here. Also, each of these states has a Senate race, and the Senate's going to be something that we're going to be focusing on a lot as we get closer to Election Day. Three states, Democrats having right now holding those three, um, and right now they're single-digit advantage. So it's not a guarantee that they're going to carry them all. Uh, they need to in order to hold the Senate. And then they got to do something else somewhere else that we'll get to in a different poll. But right now, the Senate numbers, OK, but not great. Uh, and as far as the three battleground states, this is still an area to be duped out. We'll see how it all breaks down next few weeks.